Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like what you see I'd love it if you subscribed. I was mooching about on BitChute and I've got some playlists, one was the Lisa one, one was videos that other, other people had made about Lardy and another one was something else, no idea what now. Anywho, this was at the bottom of the list where I'd put videos that other people had made and it doesn't look like anybody else made it. I think I put it there by accident. Started watching the beginning of it to see what the hell it was all about. And apart from her banging on her mic and talking into her phone, not, nothing much happens all, until now. And once again, I'm getting the blame for something. Fuck knows what, but here we go. I don't care about thumbs up, thumbs down, but I turned off chat because I don't want to get sidetracked. Because I can talk for a good long time. so I don't want people with an opinion saying anything in the side chat. So this is a live with no interaction. Okay. Why didn't you just record a video then? Please give a thumbs up just for here so that I know that you can hear me. It doesn't have to mean that you like me. <laughs> so this is the second time I'm filming this doing a live because the first time my mic wasn't on and somebody thank you thank you for letting me know it's on somebody told me she's got that i'm building bridges voices voice on hasn't she the damage control voice i'm really nice and other people are just so mean to me um okay so i haven't even brushed my teeth you can probably smell my bad breath <sighs> i look atrocious and it's on purpose. You always look atrocious. What are you saying? Because I'm me. <laughs> and when I when I uploaded this and clicked on the settings, I clicked on entertainment. Because that's what this is. It's it's me entertaining you. Not really? Does she entertain you? Don't fucking entertain me. Nothing more than that. This isn't anything really important. <laughs> so not important enough. What she said that she shouldn't have said that she's trying to make out now. It was just done for entertainment purposes only. Allegedly, don't come for me, bollocks. Mm -hmm. To... talk about after it's done maybe a fleeting thought through your head Ugh, can't stand her cuticles oh my god she has a double chin look at her limp from having surgery oh you had to add that in didn't you look at her limp from having surgery you couldn't just say look at her limp no poor me poor me poor me another one She's too old to be wearing that outfit. Like, and then just let it go. But to send a mule. Jules. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jules is the mule. I'm not a mule. To either join my Patreon and spend money to be able to steal the videos. What a load of bollocks. I have never joined your Patreon. Somebody else did. And they sent me the videos. They took one for the team. And actually joined and paid you money. Because they said it was worth it. For you to be called out on your bullshit. And they sent me the videos. So, wrong again, Lardy. It wasn't me. That are so nothing. And take them back to either the Gossip Bakery or whatever other gossip sites there are is first of all it's sick like there's something wrong Ruth Ann, Jules, Gal Charlotte, Kim all of you that are watching hate watching that are no all those of us that woke up to the real lardy and can't bear you and want other people to know exactly what you're like and what you're up to. We have your number 
And you don't like that, do you? You thought Patreon would be the place where you could talk bollocks about people and nobody'd know. <laughs> They're on the gossip site. What is the point? This is just YouTube. It's just me. This is her excuse all the time. It's just YouTube. So, you think talking bollocks about people makes you relatable and more people watch you. Why not put a disclaimer at the beginning and the end then? Saying, this is all made up. I don't really hate these people. Or give them different names and do your story time like you did with cricket. You can't get away with saying, oh, this is just YouTube. It's not real. It's real. You're sat there saying it. It's real. You're not in my life. Thank fuck. So to take a picture of my dry cuticle when I was showing something else and I had another swatch of a nail polish on there and to t and to then everybody comes home from work and looks and goes, oh my God, gross, gross. Like, what is that? That's, that's not normal. Neither is you talking bollocks about people on your channel. That's not normal. Having vendettas against people for saying the wrong time of day. That's not normal. Abusing your animals on film and thinking you can get away with it. That's not normal. You're not fucking normal. Anyways. So yesterday I got a little caught up. Because a shit stirrer who claims to have my back but won't say their name because they know me and I guess they think that I'll turn against them, which I guess I am. Um, See? But who's... Why did she cover her own back? I fucking wonder. ...on my Patreon and alerted me to the fact that this Jules, who has a YouTube channel, I'm subscribed to her. She also has blogs. Her daughter has autism. She has fibromyalgia. A lot of things I... You had to bring my daughter into it because? Hmm? The point of that was what? You've got beef with me, not with my children. I've never said a word against Burke. Might start trying though. Why? Here's a question, because I know you'll be watching. Why do I get the blame for everything? Why? If, if I'm on the Gossip Bakery, open and out as myself, I'm running this channel now as myself. I'm not hiding. I don't need to hide. If I had something to say, I would say it. Don't you think if I was paying money for your Patreon, I'd mention it at some point? Don't you think if I'd done all these things you're accusing me of, I'd turn around and go, yeah, it was me. Because I haven't done anything that I'm embarrassed about or want to hide. I know who did the ad on the thing on Craigslist. I know who did that. I know who was on your Patreon. Most people trust me because I don't break confidences. I know who most people on the Gossip Bakery are, but do you see me out in them? No. So I know what's going on, Lardy, in the background. I know, but I haven't done it. So stop thinking that I'm the devil incarnate and maybe change your attitude and then people will stop doing things. 
I I actually have, but I I dissed her once and blocked her and now I'm now she is consumed by me. Whatever. Bringing me down. Same with like Ruth Ann tagging my videos for copyright infringement when there are hundreds of people on YouTube that Who's tagging your videos for copyright infringement? How can anybody tag your videos for copyright infringement when it's just you sat on your fucking ass talking? Where's the copyright? Don't talk bollocks. Show replica bags. Whether you think it's right oh, or wrong. For the bags. It's kind of like pouring blood on someone that's wearing fur. No, it's don't not. wear fur if you don't like fur. Standing up for a cause, I don't know. I th Stop trying to make it sound normal. Selling replica bags on YouTube is against their terms of service. As a content creator, you should know that. Also, when you did that, I'll do that video, I'll show it again, because it was so funny. Right, ignore me, I'll get back to that. I think Chanel and Louis Vuitton can kind of handle it on their own, but it is what it is, so I was in the wrong. Yes, you were. My videos, they had every right to be taken down. I was just doing what everyone else was doing, which, <clears throat> excuse me. Isn't that the fucking argument of every child ever? Everyone else was doing it, so I thought I could do it too. No. He doesn't make it right, but I don't know. Some people want to buy a designer bag and will never, ever have that opportunity to do so because they are outrageously priced. Yes, but these people can buy... They're replica bags from re replica bag sellers. Not for you on YouTube. It breaks the terms of service. Read it sometime. And so the only way that they'll ever get one is a replica. And whether you have a problem with the work conditions, uh, that the people or... Somebody thinks I got them from Russia. They're from China. You know, China. Um, Does that make it any better? You got them from China. Where the people have worked their fingers to the bone in shit conditions to make knockoffs so that you can sell them and make a profit on your YouTube channel, really. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so they were taken down. I was showing them because I got a free bag and people that I know wanted them. Who You did not get a free bag. Stop fucking lying. And if you knew people that wanted them, you could have texted them, couldn't you? Or you could have even done a live and said, oh, so-and-so, drop me a text. I've got something you'll be interested in. You can't dig yourself out of this, lardy. You broke the terms of service. YouTube don't like that. It's got nothing to do with whoever might have reported it. You... Broke the rules, which you always do, and usually you get away with it, but this time you didn't. Boo fucking who? Couldn't afford it. Could afford it. It's as simple as that. Um, so I let the shit stir get into my head, and, um...
tell me that, you know, a dollar, five dollars is not going to deter haters from my Patreon. That this Jules has created a website where she steals all of my videos, which are against that website's. No, it isn't. <laughs> Try again. And once they're out in public, they're out in public. And why? Do I put them on here? Why do I do that? Because you lie. You lie and lie and say, Oh, I never said that. It's not on my channel. Because you dirty delete everything. So, so I had a record of all the times you'd abused me, dragged my family into it, called me whatever you called me. I've put them here for the day that I'd need them. That's today. If you were a nice person and you weren't breaking terms of service and you weren't being an asshole, I wouldn't be putting your fucking videos on here, would I? Oh, and to all the fucking lard outs that say, oh, Oh, she edits it. Lardy said she edited it. Did it, did it, to do. Go and ask Steven Spielberg if it's actually possible to make somebody look like they're saying something that they're not actually saying. In their voice. And even the ones that I put the subtitles on on YouTube and recorded. You can see what she's saying at the bottom. You can see the chat on the side. All moving at the same time. At exactly the same time that she's saying what she's saying, but yet I edited it. Whatever the fuck. Grow the fuck up, people. Stop being a twat, lardy, and I'll have nothing to do. That's all you have to do. Rules. Whatever. 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 And all of the... Haters on the Gossip Bakery that have made, and I, I swear, they won't believe me. I don't care. I don't go onto that site. People tell me, and I really, really, really beg of you to not. Liar. God, if you ever tell the truth, fucking earth will start spinning the other way. Tell me. First of all, you're up for suspect reading there. What does that even I mean? You're up for suspect. That sentence makes no fucking sense, Lardy. You're up for suspect. If you weren't horrible, you, people wouldn't be up for fucking suspect, would they? Because they'd have nothing to say about you. See, like I've gone on once or twice. I've read about the Shermans. I've read See? about HRH Collection. I've read about Lisa. I've read about me. I don't go on there. I do go on there. Which is it? Yeah, I've read about the bombshell suite. I read about Shawnee. I read about... I've read about a lot of people there. I wanted to... Uh -huh. Hang on a minute. You read about Shawnee. How did you do that? See? She doesn't think before she speaks. It all tumbles out of her mouth. And then... She thinks, shit, 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 backpedal, backpedal. Shawnee hasn't got a thread. So, where did you read about Shawnee? Oh, I know. On your thread, you fucking lying twat. To see what people are saying. But do I go there? Yes. No. Like, once I was in there... I made the choice to get out of there. It's not my thing. If it's your thing, then fine. That's your thing. I would urge you to do something better with your time because it's not like... Why don't you do something better with your time? Sitting on nine-hour lives, slagging people off, telling lies about people, telling personal secrets about people, being an absolute twat. Why don't you do something good with yourself? That'd be interesting to see. It's not like you're just gossiping. 
you, you're taking so much time out of your mind that could be devoted to your daughter oh, with autism. Fuck you. Fuck you. See, did you want a reaction there? You got a fucking reaction. You happy? Mention my child once more. I dare you. Or for Ruth Ann, who I called a cunt, to just say, Ugh, I don't want to have anything to do with this person. And like, supposedly you have this great, fantastic boyfriend, then, then that should be your focus. Like, not the person that used some, some vulgar language. Why would you watch someone that's vulgar? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So I let them get, I let the shit stirrer who is on my Patreon. I don't know her name. She doesn't use her real name. <laughs> supposedly has my back, but didn't want to use her name because she knows me and knows that I would turn against her, which I suppose she's thinking I'm doing now. And yes, in a way I am because show yourself. Like if, if you're real, hey. Why would anybody show themselves to you? Why? Because they know that you will spill your guts if they ever fall out with you. That's why you have no friends. And Irma, I hope you're paying fucking attention to this. Because anything you tell her, fair game when she gets fucking pissed off with you, which she very slowly is at the moment. Because you weren't there to blow smoke up a hole, were you? What were you doing? Having a life. Poor Tay Tay, the unpaid moderator, sorting out her air conditioning and not using her wrench. Stop it. Um, if you're real, then what do you have to lose? Like, just show yourself the way I'm showing myself. It's not that big of a deal. So on the site, I guess somebody sent me a picture. Yeah, of course they did. Of a dry cuticle. And everyone was like, oh, gross. Why would anybody bother their hole to send you a picture of your dried cuticle? Why? You keep going on about the amount of time people spend on the gossip channel. Do you know how long it takes to type a message? Done. That took fucking ages, didn't it? I wouldn't want to have her nails. Her nail beds are too small. The problem with Lori is her nail beds are too small for her fingers. Do you know what they say about Lisa's toes? Oh, someone sent you a picture of your dried cuticle, but you knew exactly what people were saying about it. Wow, you must be psychic. Are you psychic? No, you can't be psychic because you keep blaming me for things I haven't done. If you were psychic, you'd fucking know who did it. But you don't. Because you're stupid. For the longest time, I don't think she would show her toes because they didn't like how they were curled. She shows her toes now. She doesn't care. And I really don't care. They want to talk about my limp. They want to sit there making up rhyming titles. They want to look into my ex-husband. They want to look into my son. They want to find out where I live. Go. Nobody looks into anything to do with you. You lay it all out for them. You dox yourself. Stop blaming others. Oh, go do it. Go do it. I don't really care. Well, stop talking about it then if you don't fucking care. Because... In the end, there are these gorgeous mountains outside of my apartment. And I have one dog there, one dog there, and a cat somewhere, oh, lying on the counter, that I love. And I have a roof over my head. Lucky you. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. You don't love 
them animals. They're just props. I don't give a shit about them. You might actually care a bit for Doofus, but I don't think he was there then. But you don't care. You never cared about Bella and Pom Pom. Pom Pom for five minutes because she was small and she was cute and everybody likes Pom Pom. But even you don't like her now. Where's your son? Did he come to see you for Mother's Day? No. Did you go to his graduation? No. Where's your husband? And knock wood, I'm not sick with coronavirus. And my beautiful son, who, yes, we have a tumultuous relationship, but he got into colleges. And he loves me and I love him. And, okay, maybe you don't like my fashion sense. Maybe you think it's too old. Maybe you think my hair is fried. Maybe it is. I couldn't give a flying fuck what you wear, what makeup you wear, how you style your hair, whether you have fake nails or not, whether you dress like a three-year-old toddler. None of that bothers me at all. What bothers me is the lies, the abuse, using people for money and medication. That's what bugs me, Lardy. Go, live your life, have fun. Get off YouTube. Why are you spending so much time on YouTube? Because it's my job. Yeah, of course it is. So, I let them get into my head, the shit stir especially. And I started to change my Patreon to try and avoid, I don't want, you know, a dollar. It's too little, it won't deter them. Five dollars, too little, it won't deter them. So I wrote to everybody, okay, it's changing from a dollar to five dollars. You have to pay five dollars. And I thought, I don't care. Okay, so I'll lose some people, but then they'll make up for the difference and blah, 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 blah. Some people wrote me and they're like, I just can't. And I tried to get it so that, okay, maybe I'll make tiers. I'll have a $3 tier and they'll get one video and I'll have a $5 tier and they'll get all the videos. Then I'll have another. <sighs> it's entertainment. You'd never do that, make tiers and actually complete what you say you're going to do. It started off, pay what you can afford for four extra videos a month. Now, you're lucky if you get one a month. And people are paying for that. They're still fucking paying for that. They have to be insane. Is the link still in there? Oh, the link won't be in this, will it? I'm going to look after this and see how many people are actually still paying you for nothing. They're the ones that need the head read. And... I will always be true to myself and I don't want to price gouge <laughs> anybody Whatever. who wants to watch my videos. Yeah, I want to make some money at it, so pay a dollar to watch the videos. Pay a dollar to watch the videos and copy all of them. Take your time to do that and put them on some site. It hasn't made a dent in my subscribers, you can go on Social Blade. You can you can do all your anal. I thought Social Blade was wrong. Now you're telling me to go and check you out on Social Blade. Whatever. See, you're saying about these videos. What was I going to say? It's gone completely. I looked up at the television, saw something, and whatever it was that was in my head, just bucket off out of it. <laughs> Why should people pay for those? For that was what I was going to say. You're charging people on Patreon at the start. I don't know what she's fucking doing now. At the start, you were charging people for videos on Patreon that you also put on YouTube anyway. So 
What were they getting that was any fucking different to the rest of us that weren't paying you? Analytics, you can assume what I'm making on YouTube. You can assume what I'm making. You can be stupid and think I'm making $260 per person. Come on. You can ride my coattails, put my name in your, put my name in your title. Oh, thank you. It really doesn't have any significant impact. YouTube has never been, will never be. Same with Patreon. It won't be my main source of income. Oh, so what is your main source of income then? Anyone know? Mm -hmm. Um, I would say a lot of the hate happened because people don't like e-begging. And those that don't care about e-begging begged me to do a GoFundMe a long time ago about my car. Who some people have it in their head that it was false, whatever. Look at the camera and tell me it was false. Instead of down and to the left. But those that know, know it wasn't. Um, and they saved me. You guys saved me with my car. Um, if you think I'm a terrible person because I say things about my mother or I say things about Shawnee or my son, or it's me? just simple. Don't watch no. Why would you put... It's simple. Don't fucking say it. ...yourself through that. Don't watch somebody that you think is vile, disgusting, that you don't trust, that you think is stealing, that you think is... conning people, scamming people. I mean, I know that in... Why should we not watch? Oh, to let you continue scamming people and lying to people and being horrible to people in private. Well, don't put yourself on YouTube then, love. Some way you feel like a vigilante that you need to spread this, that you need to stop this from happening. But you can't stop these things from happening. I can have a damn good try at it, though. The same way that I can't stop haters from going and talking about me. So it's very freeing to relinquish and to understand that we really have no control over anything. All we can control is ourselves. I cannot control Jules copying this and bringing it somewhere. No, you can't. And I can't control what they think. I can't control what they say. I can only control what I think. And even then that's hard, right? It's hard to stop your mind from thinking. It is if you're a big, fat, paranoid android who doesn't take their medication. So again, I say, yeah, I'll just say one more thing. So I wanted to show you guys my bath mat because I thought it was really great how it scrubbed your feet. And all they took away from that was that I'm bragging that I wash my feet every night. So... It's like you, I cannot change their minds. I'm not going to try. If they don't like this top, if they think I'm fat, if they think I have a goiter, whatever that is, my double chin, if they think that my lines, if they think that I read somewhere a long time ago that they think that I photoshopped 
my hand in the car because it looked smooth. It, do you see? It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. You can't. I see what you're doing. You're wrapping the truth up in the stupidity, hoping that people will see the stupidity and ignore the truth. Clever. Did you learn that at NARC school? Can't please everybody. So you just have to do the best that you can. Do I always do the best that I can? No. Do I, do I say things I shouldn't? Yes. I'm notorious for saying that. But are my intentions good? Yes. I'm a how, how have you got good intentions when you're telling people that I should be lying on the floor with the police officer's knee on my neck? How is that? Where's the good intention in that? How is telling people that you'd be really happy if pit bulls ripped my face off? What, what was the intent behind that one? Or that woman that you were going on about, she needed to be publicly hung. Where, where's the good intent there? Or all the other shit that you've said about everybody else. Good intent, my ass. I'm a good person. No, you're not. I am a good person. No. Do I do bad things? Yes. Do I do the wrong things? Yes. But inherently, I'm a good person. I do not steal people's videos and post them. I'm not stealing them. See, that's the difference. I'm protecting them from your deletey finger. I'm just put, putting them away in a safe place. So that when you say, I'm lying, I can show them. No, I'm not. She said it. Look. And it's really coming in handy lately. You can say what you want about me, but you can't call me a liar. I do not go on to gossip sites whoop, whoop. in anonym anonymity and talk trash about. I don't go on to a gossip site in anonymity either. And I don't know why you've got this bee in your bonnet that going in a gossip site is the fucking end of the world. It's just like people talking in the pub, talking in their front room, talking at the cafe. It's just people talking. We're allowed to talk. Oh, people, I will say it to your face. So do I. And own it. So do I. I will not purposely try and start shit with people. <laughs> Whatever. I'm true to myself, which is one of the reasons that I have undying love for myself. Well, that's just fucking marvelous, isn't it? Because you don't have undying love for you from anywhere else that I can see. And I wish that for everyone, because most people do not love themselves. Most people do not talk to other people the way they talk to themselves in their head. How they beat themselves up. You would never talk to somebody else like that. Oh my God, I'm so fat. I'm so ugly. Look at that wrinkle. <clears throat> I wish for everyone to love themselves the way I love myself. How about I wish to love everybody like I love myself and not be a raging cunt? That would be something. I don't know how I got like that. I think I was born like that. <laughs> Perhaps because I didn't feel the love that I've wanted parents. to feel. So I only had myself to depend on. Were you that god-awful, unlovable child? Was that the problem? Daddy didn't blow smoke up your hole and Mummy didn't pander to you enough. How dare you sit there at your age and blame your parents for you not feeling loved? 
I bet they bent over fucking backwards for you and you still weren't happy. Because that's exactly how you are now. No one can ever please you. They're always wrong. Because you're born alone and you die alone. No. You were. Fuck with. How are you born alone? Please tell me that. Do you just pop out of the ether? Even if the stork brought you, you were the fucking stork. You are not born alone. Your mother's there. Fuck with. You are doing it all alone. You might have people around you, but you're doing it and it happens to you and to you alone. And I ask this question as, you know, there's this pandemic going on and uh, whatever. When you, when you're on your deathbed, when you die, are you going to think about me and the fact that I had I should be a stand-up comic. I really should. You think you're so funny, don't you? But the thing is, nobody else does. On people's dying bed, deathbeds, whatever, they're not going to be thinking about you. No. Because they had a chat about you once in a fucking gossip bakery and then got on with the rest of their day. Who thinks of you past that? I don't think of you past doing a fucking video. I don't care. I'm busy doing things with my family. You couldn't even be bothered to turn up to your son's graduation. What does that say about you, mother of the year? That I had a dry cuticle. <laughs> that I had a dry elbow. That I'm proud that I wash my feet before I go to bed every night. Didn't you say that your flat was immaculate? So if your flat's immaculate and you're walking around your flat all day, why do you need to wash your feet? That I've managed <laughs> to live life with nail beds that are too small for my fat fingers that I've ruined my body with tattoos that I have a big nose <laughs> a crooked tooth crazy eyebrows wrinkles fried hair you think we're bothered about that really do you do you think that's what keeps us awake at night your fucking Dirty feet and dried fingernails. <laughs> Fat upper arms. Are you going to be thinking about that when you die as you're taking your last breaths? So with this, I just want to announce, please join my Patreon. I will <laughs> continue to make videos here. My Patreon, you decide what you want to pay and you decide what you want to do with the video after I post it. Oh, you want to pay a dollar, two dollars, three, four, five. You want to change it month to month, that's fine as well. You don't even have to explain it to me. I get it. There are certain months. Oh, no, that's a big lie as well, isn't it? Because people joined your patreon realized it was shit decided they didn't want to do it anymore and what did you do you emailed them and interrogated them why did they leave what was the problem why didn't they tell you first they're not allowed to do that you can't just leave you're expecting that dollar yeah I love this front she puts on when she's in fucking backpedal mode. Oh, isn't it funny that they're saying this? Yeah, and then she'll get off here and rage for half an hour into the ether. <clears throat> that times are going to be tough. There are certain times that you're going to want to give more because you're going to be like, you know what, I really like that girl. <laughs> and then other times that you're going to say, 
this isn't worth it. Eh, I'm off. And it's all good. It's all good. Bummy. I really, I guess I would say to Jules, <sighs> don't waste your money. Is that her trying to smile at me? Really? <laughs> I'm not wasting my money. I never fucking joined. You'll never believe me, as long as your hole looks to the floor. But I have people that can back me up. Because they know who it was that joined. And it wasn't me. And don't be the mule doing this for a bunch of women that don't even know you or like you. Whatever. Hash it out with me. How? If you have a problem. How can I hash it out with you? Is this when you said to me, if I've got a problem, email me? So I did. And then you read it out on Instagram and said you weren't going to answer me. Where I couldn't see you or hear you because you're really fucking strong and fucking scary, aren't you? That you have to go and hide somewhere. If you want to hash things out with me. Come over to Exposed. You know where I am. Problem. Use use a fake email or call me. Well, you're from England, so use a fake email. Write me and tell me all the things that I did to you that you hate me so much. And you know what I'll say? Fuck you. I'm so sorry. I ser sincerely am so sorry that I hurt you to a point. Yugga yuggos! <laughs> it was my baby. Oh, I get it. It's an ASMR back scratch from a dog. I will truly say I'm sorry because I am. Yeah, I believe you. I am. I think you have so many more important things. Concentrate on your daughter. Fuck off. Concentrate on your blog and all the other things that make you happy. Do things that make you happy. Do you know what? Watching you squirm gives me untold joy. There you go. That's it. Join my Patreon. I just want to spread entertainment, whether it's so that you can make fun of me or that you can love me. I can only be me, and I will continue to be me. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. I have a third interview. Oh, that's another thing. She does nothing and still hasn't unpacked. Be happy that it's not you. Just be happy that it's not you. <laughs> okay? I'm very happy I'm not you. I have a third interview tomorrow with a bunch of people. For those of you that want to send me good vibes, I will take them. I can feel them coming through right now. If it's meant to be, if God, the universe, wants me to get this job, I will get it. If it's not meant to be, it will work its way out. I have no, I have only so much control over it. Not much I can do, except do my best. Mm -hmm. And I do try to do my best. Yeah. You can wish. You can live in England. Go on to the weather. This is the shit people do. They go on to the weather and they see, let's see. Oh, Tucson is 64 in showers. And then they gloat that I can't have a top-down day. I would never think to go on to the weather in England. There we go. I would never. I would never fucking bother my hole to see was it a top-down day or not. Bollocks, this woman spews. Or London, or 
England, London. He wouldn't go to England or London. Hmm? You're so clever. Such a clever lady. Paris, somewhere where someone lives. And be happy that they're in rain or or that they're in a snowstorm or that their electricity went out. And Ruth Ann, you don't have to forgive me. She it's not up to you to forgive me unless I ask for forgiveness. Forgive me whatever in your own mind, in your own heart. Just leave me alone. Maybe you should have left her alone. Don't write me when you have a change of heart. Don't want to hear from you. Again, I can't control it, but I think I've blocked you everywhere that I can. I don't want your forgiveness. Because I, I, I haven't done anything to you. I haven't done anything that was... Um, not provoked, to put it that way. Oh, here we go. And if You started it, I reacted to it. It's not my fault. Whatever. Even if I did, just move on. Move on. Move on. Irritating. Okay, guys. Fuck. That's all that I have to say. God. Have a great weekend. Bye. Look at that face. I don't know. Don't go on to the next thing. Laurie's Patreon page. 38 patrons. She's getting $84. Oh, £84 because I'm over here a month. Right? Minimum $3 a month. This is the real deal, folks. Uncensored, minimal editing. Specialised and highly exclusive content for highly exclusive friends. I'm going for quality patrons over quantity. I take special requests as well, so feel free to message me and tell me what you'd like to see. I will do my best to accommodate. XOXO Laurie. Don't write and tell her what you want to see because she won't do it. She never does. Right? Where are we? Just wanted to say, if you support me through this site, thank you. You mean the world to me. Whatever. That was a message that she put up a month ago, they paid $3 for that. It got one comment and six likes. Then she put the Tucson Festival video up here. Didn't she put that on fucking YouTube as well? And then, three months ago, COVID prayer list. Just horrible. The one before that, being Jewish. Four months ago, piercing my nose. Should I do a live New Year's Eve? What time? She could put that in her fucking community tab. ASMR, ultra long, pointy nails tapping on my steering wheel. Five months ago. So don't you just want to run and join for three pound, three dollars a month for nothing? Yay! And if you're still here with me at the end, I have got a community post up. I've got a poll for you to go and vote at what time you think I should do my next live on. I'm doing it. Um, I've set the times at Greenwich Mean Time for the people over this end of the world. <laughs> so they're not up at four o'clock in the morning because not everyone's a night bird like me. So go and have your say over there and I'll close it in a few days once I've had a decent amount of votes and we've got an idea of what time everybody wants me to do it at. Anyway, if you stayed this long, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.